What's up guys, my name is Lee Morris with fstoppers.com and about one year ago I came out with a video that explained how to tether your DSLR to an iPad by jailbreaking the iPad. Uh, I still get questions and comments today asking me exactly how I did that because it's a little bit complicated but iFi has recently come out with a firmware update which makes everything much much easier. So in today's video I'm going to explain how to tether a camera to the iPad without actually jailbreaking the iPad. When iFi first released their cards, they could connect to a wireless network and transfer images from this card through the network to a computer on the same network. We figured out that if you jailbroke the iPad, you could get a certain app that would allow the iPad to produce its own wireless network, and therefore the card could actually connect directly to the iPad. A new firmware update has recently come out, and it allows what's called direct mode to happen. And this works with all Pro and Connect cards. Now when this little card is in your camera, it's creating its own wireless network, and you can easily connect the iPad to that and transfer pictures from the card to the iPad without any sort of extra wireless network. Once you buy one of these cards, you're gonna need to set up a few things on your computer. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need to do when you get an iFi card is plug it into your computer and open up the iFi software. The first thing that it's going to ask you to do is to create an account. I've already got an account made, so I'm just going to log in here. And I have uh, two iFi cards, and I have one of them currently plugged in. So what you need to do is click on this little button right here next to the card. Once you get into the iFi card settings here, you're going to be under the Networks tab, and you click on Direct Mode. You want to click this first thing. This button is going to actually let Direct Mode happen, so the card itself will become its own wireless network. I went ahead and slid these all the way over to Forever, so the card isn't going to turn itself off. And then you'll notice down here the SSID. Uh, this is actually the name of the Wi-Fi network. This is what you will see on your iPad. And then this is the password here uh, that you can use to connect the iPad directly to the card. So now that we've figured all this out, let's go ahead and go back to the iPad and see if we can get it to connect. Now that I've got this card set up, I'm going to stick it in the camera, turn the camera on, and in about 20 seconds, this little card will start producing its own wireless network. Okay, the card's in the camera and the camera's on right off frame. And if I go into settings on my iPad and click on Wi-Fi, I can see the iFi card shows up. I'm gonna click on that and it's going to ask for a password. You're gonna need the password off of the iFi app on your computer. And uh, it's different for everybody, but once you type it in once, your iPad will remember it and you won't have to deal with it anymore. Once I've connected to the iFi card, I can go ahead and get out of settings and open up the iFi app. Okay, so now I've got the iPad connected to the iFi network. Let's go ahead and take a test shot to make sure everything's working. And there's the image. It's just that easy. This setup is really fantastic for any type of photographer, especially if you're a commercial shooter and you have a client that wants to be able to see the images as you're shooting them. There's nothing better than just handing this to a client and saying, you know, go sit down in that comfy chair over there and uh, anybody can use an iPad and flip back and forth and see images. They're not having to deal with some laptop that's connected with a bunch of wires and figuring out complicated software. So it is fantastic for that. I actually use this setup at every single wedding that I shoot. I have a photo booth that I bring to every reception and after everyone gets to take pictures of themselves in the photo booth, they can step out, pick up the iPad and flip through all of the images that, that have been taken that night and it is a huge, huge hit with every event that I shoot. Guys, I hope this helps. The new wireless direct mode from iFi is really, really simple and now everybody can do it. And just so you know, this isn't just for the iPad. You can also send pictures directly to your iPhone if you wanted to be able to email them out or put them on Facebook, anything like that. It's now so simple, there's really no excuse. So buy yourself one of these iFi cards and have a blast.